So Melissa is asking, was the disciple John related to Jesus? That's a really great question, um, Melissa. And we want to thank you so much for sending that into us. And we do want to um, let you know that in the Bible, at the Sometimes certain stories and things can be a little bit um, confusing just because there are different people with the same name in the Bible. And this is throughout the Bible. This is Old Testament and New Testament. Um, you know, in the Bible, there's more than one John. There's more than one Mary. There's more than one um, James. There's more than uh, one of a lot of people. <laughs> and so it can get a little bit tricky. And so if you look in the, the New Testament, um, the person that was related to Jesus technically um, was John the Baptist. Now, John the Baptist was not one of the 12 disciples, though. Um, John the Baptist was technically his mother's sister's son. So it would be technically his cousin or, you know, half cousin because Jesus, you know, his true father is our father in heaven. And so um, John, who is the cousin of Jesus, related technically to Jesus, is um, is was basically he was like the the voice of Elijah, the one one crying in the wilderness, and so he um, you know prepared the way of Jesus. That was his job. He was a prophet, and Jesus said he was the prof best prophet that ever lived. Um, just because of how humble he was, just how the work he did, it was so pure and just so. Um, perfect in, in accordance to God's will in um, heralding the coming of the first coming of the Messiah. Now, John, who was a disciple, uh, he came about a little bit later and he was, you know, the brother of James. He was one of the sons of thunder and he was a fisherman. And so he was not the same John the Baptist. So um, I hope that helps clear it up a little bit. I don't know, Jay or Wendy, do you have any other thoughts or any verses you want to add to that? Nope, I think uh, it's pretty straightforward. And like we said, there are just so many names at times, it's easily get confused. Another name like that would be like Jude. There's many, many different Judes and Judases in the Bible. So uh, it's something that even trips up scholars. So nobody needs to be embarrassed about it. But I agree. Um, John the Baptist, we he's the one that we know is related to Christ, the, them being cousins. And it's John the Revelator that we don't really know the well, we do know the connection in that they were fishermen and, and they're of the sons of Zebedee, who has a different mother and different father than than Jesus would have had. Yeah, very true. That's who I was thinking. I was like, what was his dad's name? And John's dad's name is Zebedee, right? Uh, and then there was James, the son of Alphaeus, right? Because it was James and John, the sons of Zebedee. And mm -hmm. then the other James, the other disciple, who's the son of Alphaeus, right? That's right. I think that's right. Okay. All right. Very cool. Yeah, there's so many. And the thing is with the Bible, like it, it's so important. Everybody's name also is so important. And um, the thing also to keep in mind with the Bible too is that sometimes people's names change in the Bible too. So you have to kind of keep that in mind and keeping it kind of organized as to who is being talked about. And so, but when you really keep that in mind and you understand, you know, who that person is in their name and their their character as you as it gets revealed in God's word, it becomes a lot more interesting. Just like one of the the disciples, his name was Simon, the brother of Andrew, and Simon is who be, who became Peter. And so sometimes people will be like, Simon, Peter, which one is a disciple? And it was the same person. So yeah, there's a lot of these things you kind of have to keep in mind. You know, when you're keeping when you're reading Bible stories, is to just kind of. Um, Make sure you're you're keeping your your name straight, which it's definitely a challenge, but it's worth it when you um, get to see the beautiful stories unfold and just how you know, like I said, sometimes people's names change um, because God is changing that person, and so a name is a reflection of their character. That's why it's we talk about the name of God, the name of the Lord, not that you know you have to pronounce it a certain way or something like that. No, no, no. It's that His name is His character. Thank you.